What's going on guys? Welcome back to another epic video. Before we jump into it, we have a very special package from uh, from YouTube. Very a lot of hard work and dedication went into this and this pa th this package means a lot to us and should mean a lot to you guys. So, check it out. Look what it is. 100k is. subscriber plaque, you guys. Crazy. It just showed up at the front door. We're gonna open this, open this thing up with you guys because without you guys, there's no way in hell we'd be able to even have this in our hands right now. So thank you all so much for what you guys do for us. Chris, Brooke, and I, we appreciate it. We open it together. Yes. Absolutely. We open it together. All right. Is everybody ready? I don't want it to fall out of it. Is everybody hit, just so I know, hit the like button if you're ready. They're ready. All right, let's try it. Oh, oh look at awesome. that. Look how sick <laughs> that is. Now they're the real reveal. You've just some, done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. How does, how? Okay. okay. I'm struggling here. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six digit milestone. Yes. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. Yes. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. All three. You achieved this milestone with hard work, hard work, perseverance, perseverance. And, probably and probably healthy sense, healthy of, humor sense too. of humor too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from no, you. No, it can't. And we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work, hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of your, our esteem and respect. Esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards. You do no. it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who carries? Who, yes. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? We did. Yes, you did. Find an audience who audience. An audience, audience who, who cares. cares. <laughs> Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. Yes. A million, a million subscribers may seem a long way off. No, right it's now. not. Everyone hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be there in like a month. But you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Yes. Yours sincerely, Susan. We'll leave, it, we'll leave it at Susan. <laughs> Susan, maybe. Susan, CEO of YouTube. Listen. Send us this. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow, that is beautiful. Another letter. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. I'm gonna get this out and take it out of the package for you guys. So you guys can see it. Whoa. Jesus, this thing is like 500 pounds. <laughs> oh my God. It's so oh, heavy, dude. It's real it's silver. silver. It's real silver. It must be worth a million. <sighs> Careful. Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's so heavy. Is that a smudge on it already? Look at that. Wow. Hey guys. That is badass. Reflection. Presented to Barb's Buzzin for passing 100,000 subscribers YouTube. This is perfect. Now do we put it on the wall or do we put it in a damn tank? I don't even put it in a damn tank. You guys let us know in the comments what we do with this thing. But seriously guys, thank you so much for helping us get here. This is terrific. This is just the start, this is just the beginning. For everyone who did subscribe before 100K subs and for all you guys subscribe now, you are a part of the OG Bars Boston family. So once we hit 10 million, know that you guys were the ones that started us off. Just, just wanna let you guys know you guys are special. Thank you all, let's hop into this beautiful video with this great day, let's do it. Okay, Jack, what are we doing today? Today, actually, Chris, we're gonna Don't be- Don't put your mouth near that, I'm it's not, disgusting. I'm not. Today we're actually gonna be setting up um, a beautiful coral tank, so stay tuned. We're gonna hop right into this thing, but first, before we do that, actually, Chris. You need a comment shout out? Yeah, I have a comment shout out, and it actually goes to Anthony Seguata. Anthony Seguata. Yeah, you wanna know what he said? What did he say? He said, I'm always pumped to watch, and what y'all going to do next? Keep up the great work, and don't forget, Barb's buzzing, baby. That is correct, we gotta say about it. Great guy. Great guy, so yes, guys, now we're gonna hop in, but before we hop in, we have our life challenge of the day. Well, if you wanna win a comment shout out, just go ahead and comment down. Oh, yeah, that too. Like challenge of the day is going to be this video. I think I think we're gonna get a lot of likes in this video. Really? Yeah. So guys, if this video gets 2,100 likes, sorry, at least keep it here so they hear. If this video gets 2,100 likes, we're gonna go get schooling fish for that tank. We already saw them at the store. They're they're, they're actually dope. They're really cool. So we're gonna we'll get five of them. Five. All right. Whatever. Okay. Sorry guys, there's technical difficulties with the uh, other mic. Let's hop into the video. You guys understand what we're doing. Let's set up this great <laughs> tank that we have right here. It's gonna look kick ass at the end. And in maybe like a year, cause it's gonna be a long journey that you guys are gonna come with us. It's gonna be sick coral tank. Let's hop into it and start. Okay, so first guys, we're gonna be adding sand to this tank right here. That's step number one whenever you're setting up a tank is to put sand in it. Now also, 
We have a filter right here. We don't know if it's gonna work. We have a, a spare Fluval 406. It's it's right it's there. It's really skating on thin ice. It's skating on thin ice. We've tried to use it for a uh, different tank. It did not work. We were on customer service for a long time, but you guys don't need to know about we'll that. We'll figure it out. Guys, we have our sand, but first, I just upgraded our microphone big time, guys. Look at this. <laughs> this is a microphone. Yeah. How's it look? Looks terrific. I just put a ball of tin foil on top of this thing. Don't want to take it off because it looks good right now. So just how does it feel? Probably shape it. It's yeah. very sharp. We're gonna be putting in the sand, the rock, and the water now. Now, all at once. Yes. We're gonna be putting the sand in now, the rock, and the water. Now we gotta get our rock structure looking <laughs> perfect. We gotta make sure that it can hold a lot of corals because we're gonna get a bunch of frags. We're gonna grow them up and get them huge, and then eventually we can transfer them into our big solar tank. But for now. We're getting fragged. So let's start. We gotta make this thing look good. Any words to say about this transformation? All right, well said. Well said, that thing knows exactly what it's getting itself into. Let's jump into it. Sorry, it's like that, yeah. That's good. It has to be above your head. Perfect. So we went from no mic <laughs> to a mic. Brooke, you can't get me in the shot. You can't even get this in the shot. So now we have our own mic man. So, get right the sand there. is in the tank. Now we gotta get some rock. Now, <laughs> now we're gonna be taking, we only bought two rocks from Barrier, but we're gonna be taking rocks from each tank. So I'm sure you guys don't really care too much about that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. We're gonna get the rock structure in that tank. Right here. Dude, it's not gonna break. I think we just used. You know what we need? I know what we need. What? A saw? No. I know what we need. What do we need? Because I want to split it this way, because then we can get two shelf rocks out of it instead of just one. Hold it like this. Hold the rock. Hold something. <laughs> Come on, babe. Get in here. I'm gonna get <laughs> That's it. You can't. It's possible. It's not gonna play. You gotta stand on it! I'm going for it. <laughs> it's not gonna work, dude. I'm sorry. Give up. <laughs> Alright, guys, we have our rock structure here, and we've already started adding water. Now, it might not be, look like the, the best rock structure in the state of Florida. But I'll tell you what, when there's coral on it, it's gonna look dope. So we're starting to fill this thing up. And uh, yeah. Catch you guys uh, when it's filled. All right, take a look at the tank, guys. It's no longer the worst structure in the state of Florida. I think it looks pretty good. We have a nice S shape here. We're gonna put corals all over it. This thing is just gonna be like a rainbow. It's gonna look super good. We got the light on it. We're running a Fluval 406. There's a lot of filtration in this tank. You can count on that. And um, we got our lid, we got everything on it. Everything's crystal clear. Chris and I did all this last night at like midnight. We were super bored and we came over and did it. Take a look at our light. We can do a whole bunch of different stuff. We got white. I still, I still don't know how to work it. Yeah. All we know is that it's a good coral light. It's a great so, coral light. We're actually gonna order another one because look at this. I don't know who thought of manufacturing this light like this, but guys, we just got back from the pet store. We're gonna acclimate our coral. Let me open the lid. All right, yeah. So we're gonna end up hanging them. So we're gonna get two and we're gonna hang them up like right about here. This way they have enough light to reach the bottom if we have corals along the bottom. So this tank looks freaking terrific. It's gonna stay crystal clear. It's gonna stay beautiful. We're gonna go get corals. Obviously not for a little while because we gotta let the tank cycle. But Chris, step in here. I got a few questions for you, sir. How do you feel about this tank? I think it's terrific. You do? I, look, I mean, look at it. Look at that tank. Imagine, imagine corals all over this thing, like a, like a, you know. I agree. An S-shaped rainbow. Yeah, I agree. I think it's gonna look now, terrific. Now, second question. Are you thinking about putting fish in here? Or are you only thinking it's coral? You know shrimp, what? And what are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe we get some smaller fish. Like a couple, not like three or four, just to, you know, keep up the tank and okay. eat some algae, all that stuff. Yeah. So I'm thinking that. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. So, now, when you think about your first coral purchase, first coral purchase. like what do you think is number one on your list? I need to research, but uh, I'm thinking the ones with the wavy stuff that look green. Like a hammer? Yeah, like I a agree. hammer would be good. I know I that agree. One. So I'm uh, gonna do some research. 
on corals and stuff, guys. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna make this tank kick ass for you. Agreed. Agreed. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Video with Barb's buzzing here with our new mic. I hope you guys enjoy the mic. It's, it's definitely gonna be a staple in the channel now. This tank looks phenomenal. It cleared overnight. 2,100 likes, don't forget, we're gonna go get schooling fish for that tank. We're gonna get five of them. Four or five, depending on which ones look healthy. If there's five healthy ones, we'll get all five. If there's only four, we're only gonna get four. But listen up. Guys, seriously, don't forget about the pond. We're gonna be posting that video soon. The pond is seriously gonna be like ridiculous. It's gonna look so good. We're super excited about it. So don't forget about that. But I think we're signing off here today. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in that next video. Peace.